Hello students, today we will discuss about JEE mains 2015 physics paper. Now we will discuss all the questions one by one. Okay, let us start. Hello students, let us move to question number three. Given in the figure are two blocks here A and B of weight 20 newton and 100 newton it is 20 newton and it is 100 newton that means it is 2 kg and it is 10 kg these are being placed against a wall by a force of f you can see here so two blocks are there one and two and it is these two blocks are placed against the wall so that they don't fall <clears throat> The coefficient of friction between the blocks is uh, 0 0.1. So, between the blocks here, the coefficient of friction is 0 0.1, and between the block and the wall is this 0 0.15. So, there are different frictions here and here. The frictional force applied by the wall, by the wall, on the block, on this block is that means how much is the friction on the block b by the wall that is equal to find so to do that let us understand the situation <coughs> let me draw the diagram here suppose this is a first block a and i'll draw the second block little separation to show that uh, something is there to, to just little separation this is the second block okay and this is the wall this is block b now <clears throat> the force is applied here its weight is uh, 20 newton its weight is uh, how much? 100 Newton. 100 Newton. Now, if you push it in this direction or presses it, then at certain sufficient force, this two will not fall down. But if I gently push it with certain minimum uh, little force, it might fall down. So you have to find that uh, if uh, it is pressed with force F, then this wants to fall down. This also wants to fall down because if no force is there, this will fall down. If no force is applied or no force is or is not placed in this direction, this will fall down because I cannot keep an object against the wall like that. It will fall down. So therefore, that means if this wants to fall down, then there must be some force uh, acting to counterbalance this. There must be some force acting along this direction and that must be nothing but the friction between the two blocks. Suppose this force is F1, so this F1 must be equal to 20 Newton. That means uh, the frictional forces are uh, uh, action reaction pair. So if this block applies there uh, because this has a tendency to slide down over its surface, so therefore this block uh, this block will try to prevent it from falling down by applying a force in the opposite direction. Similarly, as this block is applying a force on A in the opposite direction, the A will apply a force equal amount of force on b in the downward direction so on b the forces that will also be frictional force because b has applied a force on a in this upward direction so a will apply a force on b in the downward direction that is same f1 now if i see the free body diagram of the first object then this f1 must be equal to 20 it's very simple because whatever may be this force i don't have to calculate anything because whatever may be this force this is sufficient to prevent this so in vertical direction if i balance the forces this will be f1 this is 20. now if i look at the second object these are the two forces acting downward that is 100 newton and f1 and this block is not falling down that means this some friction has to be applied on the block b suppose this friction is f2 so this frictional force is applied by the wall on the block the frictional force applied by the wall on the block b this is what is required so our aim is to find how much is the force that the wall applies on the block 
B. Obviously, the block will apply the same on the wall, but that is not the question. The question is to find it. Now, I can simply write to have the solution. I will simply write that F1 must be equal to 20. Okay. So, if I draw the free body diagram of A, 20 Newton is acting down. It applies the frictional force. The block B applies the frictional force in the upward, upward direction. F1 because it is at equilibrium at equilibrium that implies that upward force F1 must be equal to downward force. So this is first equation 20 Newton force. If I see the second object B, the 100 Newton was its own weight, 100 Newton. But as B is applying a force F1 in the upper direction, this will apply a force in the downward direction F1. That F1 comes up to 20. So this is 20. Obviously, that 20 equals to F1. Then <coughs> the question is what is the force, frictional force on this applied by the wall? That's the F2. But for equilibrium, for equilibrium of block, for the block B not to slide down, the this frictional force must balance the this weight, this total force downward. So the upward force must be equal to the sum of the two downward forces. That means the F2 must be equal to, this F2 must be equal to 20 plus 100. That is equal to what 20. Without making any calculations, we can write that this is 120. So therefore, the option 3 is the correct option, 120. But still, if uh, I want to discuss, let us discuss about that. <coughs> we can discuss it uh, another way that if I want to write the equation of this force, then uh, I will write this way that for this F1, F1 is mu 1, mu 1 means the coefficient of friction that acts between the blocks, mu 1 into n or n1 say rather then uh, v1 is given 0 0.1 into n1 n1 is the uh, force with which it is pressed if this is pressed with force f then that will be your f so i'll write this as f okay now <coughs> this is 0 0.1 f this is the force with which it is pressed now if I look at the, <coughs> if uh, F is the force that is applied on B, the B will also apply the same force on A. So these two forces will cancel out. So therefore, there is no movement in this direction. If F force is applied, then same F force will be applied from here. So there is no movement in this direction. Similarly, if this force F is applied here, the same force F will be applied here. So that means on the second block also, the this is the force applied. If I want to write the equation of F2, this will be mu2 into N2. Obviously, mu2 is 0 0.15 into N2 is nothing but F. <coughs> now, I can find F from here and put it here to get this F2. I, I can find F from here. The F is found to be the frictional force F1 divided by 0 0.1 okay now the frictional force must be equal to 20 divided by 0 0.1 that is equal to 200 okay so <coughs> 200 so if uh, f is found to be 200 then uh, if i put it here then how much i'm getting then uh, 200 here uh, then this uh, force will be different from that force. It seems that it, it is found that this force is coming out to be different from the other force. Okay, so we will better use this way because that way we have to uh, calculate the force on this because uh, as the it has certain masses, the same force will not be transferred. With the some other force will be transferred, then we have to. Uh, the free body diagram will be different because some forces will be acting in this direction, normal directions that you have to count. This also, some normal force will be here, the net force will have to count, 
and that uh, total force in this direction we have to consider here so this is this you cannot take that is that if you take this way then this is not considered okay so this is not there we have to consider some other forces so basically this is the answer to this question thank you